Attention gamers! There's a noble type of person in this world, they keep their head down, work hard to get ahead, they do the dirty work that others don't want to do, waiting for their time, that golden opportunity everyone craves, where they get to pop a watermelon one shot on a dumb ADC. <laughs> Hi, as you watch the following performance of yours truly in this clip wishing you had glaucoma or some other reason not to witness the pain of what looks like I had ordered gamer girl bathwater, drank it, and was slowly losing control of my motor skills as I simultaneously speak of having played this game for 10 years now, I would like those of you who are without cringe but rather some feeling of relatability to what I just did that I am committed to finding a way, for us hopeless hard stucks to climb that does not rely on skill or intelligence and my latest discovery might be among the best and no, you will not get banned for using this. You see, the ping system in League of Legends has lost much of its meaning through years of misuse, this more often is used to question a teammate's intelligence after a play than to signal a missing enemy, danger is more like get the piss off this wave it's my farm, the art of timing an on my way ping when you are actually on your way is truly lost, and assist me is typically just a verbal synonym for saying jungle diff, long ago the four pings lived together in harmony but now it's just a misused cluster cuck chat log and a bunch of sounds that we are more desensitized to zoning out than a husband listening to his wife talk about her work drama. Which leads to situations like this where in the midst of chaos and in the absence of intelligence, my bot buddy and I fail to acknowledge this ping and then immediately after died to a primed up bladed Betty allowing us all to witness the birth of a blame heavy bitch and that ironically is immediately followed by a misuse of another ping in the game. But despite trying to find some joy while playing a video game by throwing humor at the accusations of having zero brain when you are literally playing one, you know deep down that you truly are at fault, for growing numb to the ping. But let me ask you this, what if instead of a ping, this is what happened instead? Don't panic! But your mid tower is down. Their mid laner might be roaming right now. Damn right you can bet your bottom dollar I'm backing the F up. Which likely would have prevented the death and thus the pending emotional meltdown of my mid or a colorful prompt of mad libs out of my jungler. Okay kids I need an adjective. Delightful. Great give me two more quick. Itchy. Nutritious. Perfect here's what we have. Oh and maybe more importantly it would have prevented a Federalia from doing Federalia things. Yes. I found such a thing. An automated system that reads tips in real time. Enemies have ignite on the lane, which can make their trades pretty strong. Think about that before you start fighting. Calls out timers. First dragon is ready to fight. Gives warnings. Be careful around the bushes. Enemies might be cheesing you there. And randomly acts as a hype man after kills. Down they go! Which honestly I wasn't mad about and so today I'm going to share my experience on using this dark magic and whether after a few games I think it's a piece of shit or actually helpful. Then tell you if something like this is even legal as well as what happened when I contacted the devs who made it. Also, please people that watch my videos actions, right? please like so for context I guess when you are running this biz you can decide how much you wanted to talk to you as well as what voice to use and I believe they have celebrities on deck to record these coachings but I just set it to talk my head off and use the default voice that sounded like a kiss ass corky. Here are some tips about your opponent that might come in handy. And right off the bat coach kiss ass was telling me stuff about my matchup and one thing that my dumb ass didn't even know. Each of Senna's auto attacks reduces the cooldown on her Q. Anyways the game starts and to no one's surprise I have less pressure than a balloon and a porcupine orgy until Cyrano in my ears comes up with a ground shattering idea to try, try to use pings to communicate with your teammate on the lane to set up the trades. Whatever you say coach kiss ass. And sure enough letting myself be breedable by a literal AI robot seemingly summoned a tiny Thor cause playing toddler who knows Pindobama's wife to a wall for the kill. Got him! Now don't let him recover! Side note we did let the dashing scissor simp recover but she still had to hit up a pokey center which meant we had the lane to ourselves till my constipated commentator said. The first dragon is coming, so watch out for the enemy jungler. He may have his eye on you. And I guess it was a useful reminder considering my young yellow boy was just loafing his ass off collecting unemployment and sure enough that twat who tickles time itself indeed did come. You need a queen. Buying and using control wards always comes in handy. Way ahead of you buddy. Anyways things are going well as I decide to cuff some troll balls while he slays a dusty Charizard until I see this. There's a reason I call the shots. The dude busts a smite nut more prematurely than a virgin in a whorehouse which may or may not have come in handy 5 seconds later when the damn thing was stolen from us but thank god I wasn't the real rav because we wouldn't want that whoopsie to make its way into a video now would we? 
but despite him getting the fuck out when the paparazzi showed up to get a comment for their article we had that baby bouncer removing people from the party so we could kill their friends, and the kiss ass in my ear hyping me the hell up on kills. <laughs> nice juke! They're looking for their underwear! <laughs> Anyways right when my opponent high noon threshes jail bait hit 6 he started giving me a lecture on what her pressing her or key would entail. Sinna's ultimate, in the form of a global missile, provides shields to allies, and deals damage to opponents in its center. Too bad our top didn't hear that tip. An ally has been slain. And as someone who knows what her alt is I'd find it more beneficial for him to just say hey bitch tits is 6 be careful over there but what would be even more useful is if the other team had like a Shen Nocturne TF etc and he told me when they hit 6, I would donate to your devs only fans pages for that feature if you're watching. Ward more, your KDA will thank you for it. Okay well fun fact about me I have the maturity level of a hungry 6 year old so when I'm told to do something I might get a bit dramatic as a response. And us winning a game of run down against that little bright eyed and blue haired fuck resulted in what was seemingly an issue with me getting the kills as the only one excited for me was my new BFF bot. There's a kill! Don't lose hope yet! And everyone else just said I was useless but the post game DMG PP wieners argued otherwise. So in take 2 I figured if I was gonna moronically build like a mage and steal kills I should just cue Renata Carey and with the help of my Aurelia mid aka Super Uwu Skunk and his love for big juicy PP, what's the worst that could happen? Okay looks like this will be a remake. A summoner has reconnected. Coach kiss ass over here yelling shit like this. Mini map, mini map, mini map. As if he is getting joy out of my solo queue reality and yep. 20 minutes later. Thank god uu skunk on Aurelia loaded back in and went 0 and 16 someone deliver that bitch inedible arrangement on my behalf to thank her for those 30 minutes of my life that I won't get back but hey twist my nipple and let's third tries a charm this bitch. Well except when the butt shark in my ears told me to leash for an ivern. It's always good to know where your jungler starts, so maybe you can help him. So yeah he warns me that they may light my ass on fire in a fight. Enemies have ignite on the lane, which can make their trades pretty strong. Think about that before you start fighting. Which my dumbass interprets as the green light to walk straight into battle like I'm possessed by the death devil. Guess who doesn't have ignite anymore bitches. But I then roamed up to help the tall anorexic fern fend off the slouchy stabby hoe knowing that my ADC would hard dip theirs hashtag that was all me and then I didn't know what I should do next but you know who did. The first dragon is ready to fight. Try to ping the jungler. Ping. Anyways we have them more shoved under tower than a small kid stuck in a protest outside the Statue of Liberty when I grab Pike push him into his pal and say now kiss before running off. This kill turns the tide in your favor. Goddamn right it does Mr. Hype Boy. Yes! They're crying in black and white now. Yeah haha ha, crying in black and white. Couldn't be me. Your opponents have an ultimate on their team with a very long to global range. And I'm thinking who the hell would have a long range alt. At this point my pajama up pulse fire puss boy buddy is fed so I'm trying to fight. And while I can't see their stealth pike, I know who can. Then I dropped a perfume queef nuke on the smoky pokey crab which needless to say got that floating virgin killed. Friendly reminder, your vision is the key to the door of victory. Will you shut up about the wards I'm doing the best I can? And one thing I love about this new champ is that her ult is so wide it's almost impossible not to land. Music. Go 
sit down, punk. Sweet kill. Keep it up. Hell yeah, we should get drinks after this game. Go and get him if you think you're hard enough. But believe it or not, we were actually not doing too well as a team until Mr. Mastermind delivered me the game plan. You have cooked up a total ARAM comp in this game. Consider how you can cause 5v5 fights whenever possible. And thus an ARAM they should get. Think about the biggest threat on the enemy team. What key spells do they have that can mess up your plans and put you in danger? Well they do have a pike hook and if I get hit by that I might. Okay so we won that game which not to brag was all me and Mr. Machine learning Morpheus in my ear. So after a few games I'm glad that it looks like I can swap out how often I want kiss ass Chris to talk to me because I definitely would like to keep things like timers and such popping up as well as the hype messages because who doesn't want to hear that when they get a kill it's like an instant to tilter. As for what happened when I got in contact with their team to suggest things like giving me a keybind to make him shut the hell up if he starts talking in a fight, and they got back to me actually listened to my advice and are implementing the STFU button idea as well as asked me to work with them and even sponsored this video which joke is on them I was going to make anyways for free but I've been told they have new voice packs on the way like John St. John who is the voice behind the character Duke Nukem in the Duke Nukem video game so here's a preview of what that would sound like with him talking about laning against a Trindomir. Trin is a true pain in the ass to side lane against. His E makes him slippery. But if he has Ghost as a summoner spell, he's like a big friggin' gnat with a big friggin' sword. I guess it's still in beta so there are bugs that are being worked out but they are listening to feedback. For example they even got the new voice pack to record some lines for my community. Hey there Rav fans, get ready for some premium gitgood.ai action. Cause I'm coming to this igloo. So yeah, as you can see in the background, it's a super easy install process video I've had rolling. It's like two minutes to set up and totally free to try it out yourself. They have gotten approval from Riot for its development. So it's 100% legal and I'd recommend you try it out for a few games to support these devs that welcomed my feedback with open arms and with that. So brush your teeth tonight. John St. John, out.